This... this is just... it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a Chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I ever thanked him. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney and you can make your fortune. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. He must have wanted something from you to help like that. A pupil, a squire, someone to teach and to mold. He saw my potential. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. You're here now, a Grey Warden. It worked out. I suppose it did, didn't it? But I'm older. Hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment. Where you will sit in judgment. Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Still more lives in my hands. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. She. Man. I don't want to be having to judge whether or not I should kill niggas. Okay. Nigga was nervous as fuck. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Mavran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You're a chieftain of the Avar. Will your attacks persist? <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son. And I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. He meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> it seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Movran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan. 
with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tavinta. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all. <laughs> Oh shit, I got hurt. Hell oh, yeah. So close to getting home that I need. Knight Captain Denham, Inquisitor. He awaits judgment for serving the Lord's seeker at Theron Fall Redoubt. I knew some of the knights who died there. I asked to oversee his sentencing. The Envy Demon perhaps fooled the Knight Captain, but following his superior's orders nearly destroyed the Templars. I hope the Night Captain is lucid enough to understand what he's done. I only did as I was told. Knowingly or not, you condemned your brothers and sisters to death. You would have done the same if you hadn't abandoned the Order. I served faithfully. It went red after what the Lord Seeker told me to do. I didn't suffer at your hands. That was your knights in the Templar Order. Let the remaining Templars judge the man who failed them. The penalty will be death. They can't. Not after what I've seen. One more judging, niggas. Good. Apparently all my niggas approved, though. Shout out to my niggas. Oh, what the damn question mark over there, though? Quarters? What quarters, nigga? This where the bullshit was. You certainly was spared no expense. Yep, that was it. So how do I go about upgrading this bullshit? Oh, I think I gotta go all the way to. I don't know. I need to learn how to upgrade. Uh, so I'm climbing the lap. All right. What's the point of climbing this bullshit then? Fuck you. I'm assuming if I try to jump from all the way up here, I'd die. <laughs> Dude, this is high up as hell. Still don't know what the hell was the point of that ladder. Still, you're how I get to the upgrade. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit! You kidnapped me! You interrogated me! What did you expect? Hey! Enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but he was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Varric's earned his right to be here, Cassandra. Thank you. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Good thing I still like you. I'm serious. You think I'm not? I want you to know. I have no regrets. 
Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Alright, well, I didn't even really mean to come here. I wasn't paying attention where I was going, but I don't know if I was, I think I was recording it when she, some chick told me to go find this nigga. But I'm going to go look for some merchant over in God Royale. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just decided to press that record button real quick. Fuck it, nigga. What happened here? I'm getting these notes, nigga. Fuck you. And where is the merchant we intended to meet? Uh, I'm guessing upstairs. Maybe dead. I'm robbing these niggas blind. Fuck this. It seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by the mistreatment of slaves. That nigga probably did. I need my armor, yo. Too many people in it. Hold up. Fuck, I ain't the only one that ain't using shit. Yeah, that nigga is super dead over there. Super duper dead. Damn, yeah, he is super dead. That must have been Vicinius. This is the merchant? I guess he asked Calpurnia for a down payment. Let's look around. Second of all the dead nigga. Shit. Oh shit. There's one. Shattered crystal. Let's find the pieces. So much shit to just loot in this room, yeah. Fuck shit is yo. If I don't loot everything. I find this room, I probably will never be able to come one. back here. The crystal's whole again, but hold on. Lady Calpurnia, I had no intention. I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatory, show him my displeasure. No, wait. Why? Dwarven memory crystal. The Shaper used them to store memories. Don't ask me how. We should show Leliana. Where? Yo, her armor look gold up in his loot. Bow right out. Even though before, yo, if I go to the, um, the hell's that thing called? Yo, if I go to the uh war room table, they gonna tell me, man, nigga, so my mom might go and attack me if I step foot in Val Royale again because I side with the Templars. Nigga, I can't get to Val Royale from the war table, but I can still get there from the fucking quest map, which makes no sense. I was... Wait, 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 hold up. This shit over here. Wait, I was about to go and just... See what Liliana had to say about this shit, but I press examine and shit happened. Right? So exactly why the hell was there a question mark over here? Oh. Because apparently it was a new shop that I hadn't gone to yet. It's a bunch of garbage ass equipment that I don't want. Oh This is what they wanted me to see. All the shit to customize um Skyhold. But yeah, this shit costs a lot of money, and I don't got that type of money. I have no idea what else I should sell. I only got one person I actually use, have use a bow, so fuck. But I can't see. Fuck when they do this shit. Because I don't have Sarah in my party, so I can't even see what the hell she has right now. But what they want me to see is all the crap that I could buy that could um be used to customize Skyhold. Who the fuck is talking? The temptations of the wicked make, make me rest, rest in the, in the warmest, warmest places. places. What the? Whatever. I think there was another question mark that I saw on there. No, I guess I was bugging. All right.
Oh, back to this street. A follow with a set this trait can flush party members out of stealth. I ain't reading all that because I ain't gonna have the opportunity to, so ain't no point. That's a lot of shit to take in. What it do, my nigga? What it is? What it is? The other day, we up in this bed. This bed? No, that was a new mark. Fuck it. Even here. This hole so, has everything. Oh, upgrade? Upgrade what? Oh, the garden. I knew that. <sighs> Fuck. Hold up. Upgrade the garden to a change. Shit. That's a tough choice, man. I don't really bring in that much gold, but then again, if I just sell my shit, you'll actually bring in plenty, I guess. I guess go with the herb. Is it? Good time. Inquisitor. Elan Vimar. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. My colleague Adan was clear about the worth of your cause. I look forward to assisting him. I wasn't aware we had requested a replacement for him. Not a replacement. Assistance. With recent... escalations, he asked for help so he could spend his time gathering resources. Which means... the old tosser wanted some garden time. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. Word. I'm here to serve the cause we must. I do. Your worship. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are well supplied, and I foresee only better to come. Are there others who could come to Skyhold? They are helping now. I have contacted many of our finest, and their influence is not inconsequential. They are not, shall we say, prone to take the field, but we will be well supplied. Where did you receive your training? I studied with Adan after he left the service of the King of Ferelden. Well, when the King was no longer there to serve. Our College of Associates tends to meet informally. I've since been fortunate enough to serve various heads of state. They are all as good as another, truth be told. My skills and contacts are better suited to more imminent need. I take it you're a city elf, not Dalish. It's not a useful identifier. I am an elf. I was raised away from the Dalish. No, I do not know their customs. Perhaps that wasn't immediately obvious. It's of little concern. I have skill enough to be evaluated by what I can do. My associates appreciate my work. I As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. So, what the hell's with this uh, war table? And that's where I gotta go. So, talk to Liliana about this nigga who got murdered. As soon as I saw them niggas out there, I was like, yeah, that nigga's super dead. Rare. I got shit. So all of them really just gonna grow the same shit in the same in different pots. Then me being able to harvest a different one from each one. You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Please to serve. Okay. Well, nigga, I'll try to go over the fucking Liana. Liliana, where are you? Nope, that's salt. Man, I just fuck. That mean I need to travel up some stairs to try to find this nigga. Come on. Uh, if for some reason I didn't use the war cry point on what I said I was going to use it on because I was like, oh, I got a new bit. He's like, everybody else has like a skill tree, like a shitload of new abilities, man. Nigga, I got. Who? I'm like, what kind of bullshit was that, yo? Hey, give me the same ability tree as you get everybody else. Let's read the books. Fuck, read a book, read a motherfucking book. See, I already mentioned it before, yo. It was like, I get lost. I get ridiculously lost in games for no apparent reason. I just do. Nigga. <laughs> He said, Varric and Bianca ain't allowed. The funniest He's like, yo, thing your wife is bullshit. Is that cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my oh, day right there. Right Make a nose for the right little there. rat catcher. Yo, is it just like all of his niggas in here? 
I gotta remember to examine that shit down there. Sarah. Hey you, I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Just a Ooh. little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Okay. Oh, I hate them museum and shits because they just stay there. You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? I don't understand how annoying my people will help. Look, you have experts for everything, and I know a bunch of tight-ass people when I see them. Oh, sure, they'll complain, but they'll really mean, thank you for distracting me from the end of the stupid world. Come on. Lead the way. What, really? Really? <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. What are we going to do? Right, General Uppetite is gone. Have some people the desk. Oh, yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There. Won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. Right. Little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. What, just the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes! Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. I don't know why I gotta do that to Josephine, but... Really, I don't know. You ain't got nothing to say? Okay. What's that? A locked... No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe... Feed her messengers something gassy? No, bears don't pop. But they flap and... Uh, hmm. Who is up there? Go! <laughs> that was fun. An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Corifinus would never do that! Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Ulfric! Oh, you did it! <laughs> I ain't do shit. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Oh! Inquisitor, I, um, I joined. Sutherland, your worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know and then stay out of the way. You already knew. Ain't gonna work. The fuck? What are you doing? Listening. Oh. 
Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool, like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. Can you do something for her? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. Cole, stop. Inquisitor, your worship, what are you doing here? Is this... man with you? Yes. Sorry to trouble you. How do I do it right if I've done it wrong and I can't make her forget? Don't root around inside her head. Treat her like a normal person. Your Worship, is there... Do you need something of me? You were sad. Of course I was sad. A man died because I couldn't save him. It wasn't your fault. You could work until you fell over, and you still wouldn't save everyone. Thank you for saying that. Excuse me, Your Worship. She's not better. She needs time to work through it. If I'd done it right, it would have worked faster. Then you have time to work through it too. I, I don't understand, but thank you for trying to help. Cole's weird as fuck. And I still haven't found Liliana yet. So annoying trying to find people in this giant ass place, man. Especially when she doesn't have a fucking fast travel point that close to her, man. Because she's on one of them levels, that stupid thing. But I don't know which level. The ferret should be within the vicinity of over here. And it took me five hours to find this goddamn place again. I saw this. No, Dorian's all the way on top, nigga. So where the hell is Liliana at? When it comes to all this crap. I don't even know how long I've been looking for. I can't find her. I just went in a giant circle. This place is annoying the hell out of me. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I... no longer take it. You stopped when I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. You shouldn't have done this in the first place. I have to do this. What future can there be outside the Order if I don't try? I believe in this Inquisition. I would serve out of loyalty, not blind obedience. But this? Risking your life, your sanity? It can't be the only way. The Inquisition's army must always take precedence. I will consider what you said. 
too big, man. And then that whole entire big ass thing. Yo, Liliana is the one person I need to find, but she's the one person I can't seem to find. You know what? I'm back when I find Liliana. That got a little heated. You all right? Well, why the that fuck depends. was my nigga cross eyed? How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. I know, Varric. You never would have kept quiet otherwise. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Damn. Where the fuck is this chick at? You know, the stupid thing is saying she's like in this area. I don't see her. Yo, I wish they had one of the regular ass travel waypoints, but no. Because that's just too convenient. Oh, wait a minute. Another. There's another. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minrathus. Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinter. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. What else does her past reveal? It haunts her. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. Vicinius tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. And this crystal you found is fascinating. An arcanist may unravel its mysteries. Word. Oh, I thought I said acquired. Nigga, it says I had to acquire it. I don't know what the fuck an arcanist is, but yeah, I guess that's it for me right now. Shit. I haven't got anything productive done, but. Yeah, uh, sooner or later it's gonna happen. Blackout! 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 Blackout!